Fellow Deltans, I'm Austin Orete, candidate for Senate for Delta South Senatorial Zone. I am very proud of what you people have done. You have been able to fight to claim your democracy back. There's an adage that says, actually this statement was popularized by Thomas Jefferson, that when you visit a place and the leaders are af uh, and the citizens are afraid of the leaders, that, that is a dictatorship. When you visit another place and the leaders are afraid of the citizens, that is a democracy. You have claimed that we have a democracy. A democracy is an active process. You have participated and you have seen what it means. It does not mean you vote and you sit home. No, you remain vigilant. The price of democracy is eternal vigilance. You have to hold the people you put in office accountable. Nobody has a right to foist his leadership on you. The law, the law, the law. Oh, guy, I told you, my attorney has it. He fought for me. Diana, I'm about to be deported. That's all right, ladies. I am Attorney Westcott. I specialize in immigration. I can help with cancellation of deportation or removal, extension of B1B2, accidents and personal injury and criminal defense. As for your case, I will fight for you. You decide who leaves you. You claim your democracy. You fight for it. You negotiate for it. You, 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 you demand it because that is your right. You have a right to be free. That is your God-given right. And I am proud of what you guys have done. Continue to do so. This, this is the only way we can arrest impunity in our society. There is so much impunity. People in place of leadership think they have the right to oppress the people. Nobody gave them that right. It is your right. You gave them the right to lead you for a period. If they abuse the right, they have no right to rule over you anymore. Moreover, there is more work to be done. We have to make sure that every of our citizen who is of the age to vote should have a registered voter's card to participate in this process of self-governance. Self-governance is a duty that is bestowed unto us by God. We have to learn to govern ourselves. What has happened in Delta tells us the nature of the opposition we are dealing with. They are morally and intellectually bankrupt. They have no feeling and empathy for the people. They have no love in their heart. There is a picture I will show from Ethiopian local government where they were going to distribute rice on the day of voting. We have just finished Christmas. There are some people who went home hungry during the Christmas. That is a period of festivity. Where were this bag of rice? Why didn't they give it to the people? Why did they have to wait until election day? The day of using rice, and uh, rice, beans, and yam to buy our, your vote are over. Yes, I am Attorney Westcott. Are you hurt in an accident? Call me. I will get you every penny that you deserve. Westcott Law Group is at 9525 Business Street, Suit 270, right in the Chase Bank Building, Houston, Texas, 77036, 832-831-1412. Or visit my case at westcottlawgroup.com. The law. I am very proud of you. Please, whoever give you any food item at this point in time, I understand you are hungry. If you are hungry, take it, eat it, but don't ever vote because of the bag of rice you were given. It is not worth it. We are talking about the future of our children, the future of the generations yet of born. We are talking of a country we love, a place we want to come home to, a place where 
love and beauty reigns. That is what I want of my people. That is what I want for my people. This journey for me, it is not about personal aggrandizement. It is not about self-congratulation. It is not about, uh, it's, it's not about my personal ego. It's about a service to a people who have been so marginalized and so oppressed. A people who have been so deprived. This journey for me is a very serious journey. So I'm happy that you have come a long way to understand what I have been saying a long time ago. They are so selfish that they, under, they don't understand the pain of our people. But they have cried so long. Now it is their time for us to take the bull by the horn. It, uh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. We have to become the defenders of our democracy. I want to reiterate, I want to thank you that everything you have done is in order. You have resisted the uh, imposition of leaders on you. You have participated in your democracy. It is your institution. You create it, you make it, you choose your leaders. I, Austin Norete, am in total support of you. Nobody has a right to push himself or choose leaders for you. You choose your own leaders and you hold those leaders accountable. Thank you very much.